Sam TV, la lumière salvatrice. Sam TV. We begin to preach in the dark time without success. So God says, let me preach now. It is the pandemic. To each, everyone is vulnerable that represent the preaching of Allah. Either you are rich, poor, in authority, or in a ruler, you are not spared from this disease. Scientists still can find a cure. So that suffice as a warning. Whoever is not convinced in this divine warning will never be. That's the warning. To be convinced of divine warning, know that he can destabilize the world with a small virus. I explain it by referring to Surah 26, verse 2. Certainly, Allah does not hesitate to cite as an example anything, a mosquito or anything above. As for the believers, they know very well that this is the truth coming from their part. Lord, as for the infidels, they wonder, what did Allah mean by such? Example, by this many are those whom he leads astray and many are those whom he guides, but he only leads the perverse astray. Allah say, I warn you in any way. Sometimes I talk about the mosquito or the smaller critters. Some will believe while others will always ask the question or sometimes I point to an elephant or something bigger than an elephant and they continue to doubt. So those who have faith appreciate it while those who don't, do not deny it. God say, I'm not interested in all of this, mosquito or elephant. What interests me is that you pay attention to my warning. So to speak, everyone has to submit to him, whoever you are and whoever you believe, large or ideology. And you have to admit that there is no God apart from God. If you refuse, God to respond as follows. He shows his omnipotence. He does what he wants and no one can help it. So we have to pay attention to him. He's the one who caused this pandemic and is invading this kind of disease at the end of time. And let's not forget that we are at the end of the time. Muslims should know that this is all from our law. So let's go back to him. Life cannot go as before. Often I hear someone say that this pandemic must end so that we can live as before. I refer you to the hadith of the Prophet wasallam, saying that at the end of the time, the pledges will never cease and God will annihilate all anti-theocratic systems before placing an Islamic system worthy of the name. Take note, you will see that God is almost excluded from all the systems put in place. None begins or ends with his name. So at the end of the time, the only thing to do is to be optimistic. There is no guarantee of a better tomorrow for anyone. For it will only be the divine command that counts. Let us not forget.